everyone. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's so annoying. I didn't turn my microphone on and I've been talking for the last 20 minutes. I have to redo this whole video. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Pajama Chats. Today I'm going to be talking about the life of being single and relationships. And this, these pajama chats are all about stripping down the pretty clothes and the pretty lighting and it's just about comfort and girly chats and if you're a guy it's just uh, it's girly chats and boy chats it's just chats basically if you've come along and you want to hear about what I've got, I've got to talk about then hello and let's get started as the title states I'm going to be talking about being single and we are going to be stripping everything back and I'm just going to be talking about my opinions and my views if any of these offend you um I'm sorry please don't be offended it is all from my personal experience and feel free to put your personal experience on this video comment about what your life is being single what your life is being in a relationship if you've dealt with any fuck boys just give me all the details because that is what we're here for this channel is for sharing let's get started because I'm gonna carry on rambling so what I want to talk about is being single and I'm this is quite uncomfortable for me actually this is very 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 uncomfortable for me I don't actually want to talk about this but I do feel like the reason I don't want to talk about it is because my channel is very like happy and the reason why I invented pajama chats is so I can talk to you guys in a cozy atmosphere and I don't have to feel judged and I don't have to feel worried about my channel being clean and perfect if you're not a fan of personal opinions <laughs> don't watch this video because there's a lot of personal opinions in this video so I am single I I've been single for two years and I feel very uncomfortable talking about even this because it's very personal to me and I do have problems sharing personal things. I really, really, really want to talk about this and I appreciate any of you who've actually clicked on this video because this is very, very uncomfortable for me and I just want to talk about it. So we're going to talk about it. I'm going to force myself to because I need to. Okay, let's go. Today, I want to talk about my personal opinions on having a older perspective in a young body because basically when you're 21 or like you go from like 20 onward, you are basically starting a job, you're people getting um, married almost. Some people get married at like 20 to 25, roughly that age. Some people have kids and my maturity level is basically like a 30 year old plus in some ways I am my age but in some ways I'm a 30 year old and I feel like that's really hard for me because I think that way I expect to be in a relationship already and I feel like that's why it's been so hard for me being single I'm really trying not to tear up because this is really hard to talk about <sighs> A lot of people are gonna judge me for the things I'm gonna say, and that is perfectly fine. Everyone has time for their opinion. That is the reason why I haven't wanted to talk about this, because a lot of people say that you don't need to be in a relationship when you're younger. Um, you don't need to be in a relationship to be happy. And all those things are very true, but it doesn't stop you from wanting a relationship. And there are a few things I'm gonna tell you guys that have really helped me to be happy in my own self. So the first thing I wanna tell you guys is to self-love yourself. Okay, so number one is self-love. And this is something that I got really confused about a few years ago. Some, a lot of people have said, like the classic quote is, you need to love yourself before you get into a relationship. And that is 100 million percent true. I didn't really understand this couple. How can you love yourself if you're inside your own body? Um, yeah, basically it's about accepting who you are and for all your flaws and thinking this is what this is my body this is the way i look this is the way my body works this is my height i'm accepting that and i think it's being happy with who you are and having the courage to develop yourself and to work on yourself and to be happy with the body that you're in that is something that i've been working on for a really long time and i feel like if you are aware of the things that you're not so good at and loving them for who you are that is an amazing achievement when you got to the point where you have improved yourself to a certain point that is the point where you think okay i'm ready for a relationship and the unit as i said the universe has a path for you whether you like it or not basically i feel like sometimes i just need to rant and be annoyed at being single and that is okay. That leads on to number two. It is okay to complain about being single, but don't complain all the time because it gets boring. <laughs> complain and move on. That is what I'm saying. When you have a bigger perspective on it, you do start to realize that it is okay to be single. And I think it helps to surround yourself with people who are accepting of you and will take time to be with you because it's, at the same time, realize as you get older, people do leave you when they're in relationships. And I am lucky enough that all the people that I know are in relationships and they're still talking to me and that is like a massive thing because I know a lot of people who have ditched their friends to be in a relationship and that is just so wrong I'm sorry I'm sorry if that's you 
but I don't feel like that's right because it's like another level, but it's a relationship. A friendship is a relationship, a boyfriend is a relationship, your family is a relationship. They all give you some sort of happiness in your life. Don't ditch the people that have been there for you. Um, ditch them if they haven't been there for you because uh, you don't need them. And distraction is a massive thing. Um, really fulfill, there's a pigeon on the roof. Hello mate, I'm gonna call you Gerald. And distract yourself in ways that really is gonna help you. So get hobbies, have a job that you enjoy or at least have a job that is fulfilling for you and talk about your feelings. That is the main point. Express yourself in a way that's gonna help you. It could be writing it down, it could be talking about it to yourself in your head, it could be distancing yourself from people for a while, obviously tell them before. And at the end of the day, if you're feeling the feeling that you're annoyed being single and you're annoyed at yourself for it. At the end of the day, you're obviously feeling those feelings for a reason. Just let it, let it be. And, oh God, that song's coming in my head now from the Beatles. <laughs> it just means you're human, basically. And on the other note, if you're happy being single, then that's great. <laughs> at the end of the day, you don't have to have a relationship to be happy. You don't have to have that. Okay, so another tip I wanna tell you guys, to do things on your own. This is really, really helpful. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is actually really helpful. So a lot of people are scared of doing things on their own. I find it quite hard as well, to be fair. Sometimes just force yourself to do something. Go for a bike ride on your own, go for a walk on your own. Um, it just can be little things, it doesn't have to be like a massive thing. This is a good way of getting yourself comfortable with being on your own by yourself. Because if you're not comfortable being by yourself, then something needs to change or you need to improve something. If you don't want a relationship, then do all these things anyway because they're all great. Especially if you're getting over a breakup, they're really good. And I want to just cut all the bullshit down for you guys and say it is okay to be single and as I said, I'm happy where I am at the moment. There is no rush at all. And I've always said this to myself when I've gotten down and people have like got into a relationship or somebody's got a new job or somebody's got like a much better life than you basically. Everyone is on their own path and if we're all on the same path, then there is no way that there'd be individuals in this world. We'd all be the blimmin' same and it'd be boring. Everyone's on their own path and you will get into a relationship when the universe knows that you're ready for it and you will get your own chance in your own time. And as, as annoying as that is, it will happen. You are so strong and I am proud of you. Whoever you are, I'm proud of you and you are doing really well whatever path you're on whether in your relationship or not everyone gets achievements at their own time everyone learns at their own pace and everyone grows in in their own time and that is what makes this world so beautiful and amazing and also quite annoying <laughs> but never feel bad about being single never feel bad about being in a relationship never feel bad about being yourself just accept you for who you are accept you for your own feelings and you are doing amazing whether you know it or not so that is the end of the video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got something out of it. I have no idea where this video went. I really hope you enjoyed it and if it was helpful for you and you like pyjama chats where I just strip a friend down, get raw, then let me know if you enjoy it. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.